Hey Libra, thank you so much for coming to your monthly reading. Um, it should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner, your partners. Um, maybe it's plural. Hell, I don't know. I'm not judging. Um, but with that being said, just, just kind of take it how it is. If it resonates on the other side, then flip it. Don't sit there and dwell on it. If it, if it resonates reverse, just flip it, okay? Okay, so... While I've been shuffling these cards up, there's a lot of really good cards that are coming up. So I'm really excited for uh, this reading for you guys, actually. Okay, let's hop into it, and then I'll kind of um, go and explain to you what I was seeing um, prior, to, prior to the shuffling. And then I'll go ahead and get into the cards, okay? All right, what's the overall energy for love and romance for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Ace of Cups, yes, come through. Okay, heads up, I've already recorded your reading one time, and the overall energy the last time was the Magician. So Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Aries. Aries was coming in heavy, uh, so was Scorpio, also Leo too. Okay. Um, what is Libra's person of interest? What's, what's their energy like right now towards the relationship? Ten of Cups wants to come in, Two of Pentacles. They're going back and forth here on something, I feel like. Five of Wands. One card here, please, for the overall energy for Libra's person of interest romantically. Okay, the High Priestess. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer. How does Libra feel about this person? How does Libra feel about this person romantically? Strength. Okay, like I said, there's Leo. What's the overall situation between these two? Overall situation between these two. Okay, eight of wands. But this was like this. So I'm going to take it reverse. Um, okay. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, somebody's holding on to something. Gemini, one card here for the best potential outcome between these two romantically. Passion, okay. I am going to say this. I feel like this energy is one where you already know who this person is. I feel like, um, I feel like this situation, to be honest, Libra, um, I think that this is a situation where you've had to talk to your friends about it or get it off your chest. Um, I feel like for you, there's something here that just maybe doesn't make sense because your partner's coming up as a high priestess, like there is a level of deception here on this end. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Somebody's holding on to something that should be expressed. And for whatever reason, they're not. That's something that they're keeping very near and dear to themselves. Capricorn, somebody may be a Capricorn. Here's Pisces or Gemini. But also too, I feel like between the two of you right now, it's almost like a power struggle. And I know that that sounds weird. Um, I do want to say this though, there's something that's not being seen that's going on undercover between you and this person. And it's interesting because I do feel like there is a heavy emphasis for some reason on reconciliation. And I'm saying this because of the last reading I did and then also shuffling these cards up. It's reconciling, but here's what's interesting. I don't know if you actually see this coming yet. Like it's something that's growing. It's something that's starting out, right? But it's not fully there yet, okay? I just want to throw that out there. Um, as far as your partner is concerned, I feel like there's a lot of obstacles that you and this person have to get through, okay? I feel like there's a lot of learning and expansion on multiple ends that needs to happen. Also, too, I feel like your person is in, a, is in a new phase of their life where they're getting ready for union. Now, when I say that, preparing for union, you're probably like, well, what the hell? The hell are they preparing for? I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But for you, it's like 
you you're enjoying how things are going meeting conversating you know you're really enjoying this moment i think and it's this moment where it's very light it's very uplifting like you're building a friendship with this person but it's interesting because at the core value or the core level of you and this person you're highly emotional your emotions are um very deep with this person and it's interesting i'm saying this because when i asked you know what your role in this is we have the ocean and when i ask how your partner is in this it's the bridge now if you take a look we have the bridge that's actually going over the ocean so these cards are kind of interesting to me i'm going to be honest um very 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 interesting because here's the thing right now you're in a sense when it comes to this relationship it's a very sensitive topic for you you're very romantic and i feel like right now there is some insecurity that i feel like you're trying to help them through right now i also feel like you've offered a level of support you've offered compassion um, and I feel like this is a past life relationship or one that is in this lifetime, but this is definitely a soulmate connection nonetheless, right? And it's interesting because you're coming in with all this water, all these emotions, even if they're being repressed right now, there's still something there where it's kind of like an awakening. And I feel like for you, it's like, well, why am I going through this? Why do I feel such strong emotions on something that, it's weird. I feel like you don't have a lot of control over right now. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many emotions you have, your partner still has to make that offer. It's your partner's responsibility to offer that bridge, right? And I'm saying that because that's what it's coming in as. They are the bridge between the two of you. And what is that? 38. So that's 11, which is ultimately two, right? That's the moon. Um, it, it's just very interesting to me, I guess, at how things are panning out when it comes to this. And also, too, something that's um, quite interesting, and I'm going to read this to you, or not read it to you, but I'm going to kind of give you, like, a brief overview. This person is kind of to merge both worlds, right? It's to merge the aspect of you um, incorporating your emotions as well as something else. It's also um, you and this person are building something together rather than this person withdrawing or separating or saying no. It's like you come across a bridge, right, with this person. You don't know where it's going. However, you're still going on this on this weird healing thing with them. I don't know how to explain it. There's a level of communication. There's even like curiosity or wonder. Um, but it's really about something about this connection. Because here's what's crazy. This, this person connect, you two are connected. However, when you two are connected, they're, they're disconnecting from some part of their life, whether it's a current relationship, an ideology, um, history that they may have with somebody. But it's interesting because I feel like it's on their terms. It's it's them that has the ability to offer this bridge between the two of you. And it's something that can't be forced. But it's also something that when that bridge is built between the two of you, it's made with a level of love. And it's a structure that kind of can withstand whatever amount of life that's being thrown at it. So, you know, I feel like this communication is extremely important between the two of you. And I feel like it goes deeper than just emotions. I guess that's the best way for me to say it without trying to sound crazy. There's also that saying like building a, um, a bridge over troubled water. And to be honest, I don't know what the hell that saying means. So if you know, go ahead and drop it in the comments. But there's something here about making amends, building a bridge, um, having that communication between one another. But it's beautiful. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. Current energy, we have the Ace of Cups. There's obviously, but then again, we have the Five of Cups. 
You see, I feel like this. I feel like no matter what's being offered right now, um, Libra, it's not enough. There's something here that isn't enough, and that's um, Mars and Scorpio, right? That's that's a tough energy. It's tough because one, you're used to getting what you want, and I feel like this is a test. This is a test for you, and I think that every time there is a cup that's offered. It reminds you of what you don't have because the Five of Cups is here. It's almost like, especially if you guys are dealing with an, um, an Aries or a Scorpio, there's something that's not enough here. The connection to the two of you isn't enough. That, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm gathering. Why, why is the Five of Cups here with the Emperor? Why is the Five of Cups here with the Emperor? With the magician, remember how I told you the last time the magician came out? Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, um, Virgo. What do you want me to tell? What do you want me to tell them about this? Nine of Wands, okay. That's Moon and Sag. Here, here's the thing, okay. There is some type of ending, okay, to something that was be that was underhanded. That's the first thing. There is something happening here under the scenes. Like I said, there's something here that's unseen that's going on that you don't see. It may be on your partner's side that they're trying to get their shit together in order to have a real offer for you. However, I feel like with the nine of wands here and the magician, what they want me to tell you is take this time for a level of space. There's some type of something here with space and freedom. It's also about, even though the nine of wands is here and she looks tired as hell, look at her. She, she looks tore up. She has a bandage. Her legs look good. Her legs look good though. At least she looks lightweight fly, right? Um, I mean, you've gone this long it's almost like saying to you what's waiting a little bit longer and also be very easy going about it and i feel like what happens is if you take this very light approach to it i feel like things manifest on its own after the fact am i right with what i'm telling uh libra Three of Wands reversed. What you what you've been waiting for, Mars and Leah or Mars and Aries, what you've been waiting for, it's gonna come quickly, right? But it it, it starts when you kind of push back and you're forcing your partner to push forward. One card here for the overall energy for love and romance. It's weird how that popped out. A level of seduction. Flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. Some of you, this may definitely be a third party interference. One more card here, please, for the overall energy. I just feel like there's love here, but then somebody feels like it's not enough. This is not enough for me. I need more. And then when you say you need more, then somebody sticks to these guns about these certain parameters that they're putting around something where it's very logical. And then I feel like what happens is you get in the place where you're just tired. You, you know, nine of wands. But what they're telling you here, I feel like with the magician and the emperor, the magician to me is somebody that knows how to fix anything, right? They have the ability to manifest. They can put shit together really quick. They think of a lot of really different ways how to make something work. And then pair that up with the emperor. It's having an approach here with this person that's, that, that's leaving out a level of emotions. And it's funny because your energy is coming up as the ocean. So it's almost like repressing those emotions for a period of time in order to think clearly and figure out exactly what you want and how to take a level of action on it. Because here's the thing, with that Mars and Aries, there, there is like, there is a conquest here, right? 
It's also to being very impatient, very impulsive. Um, and trying to be one step ahead, like that's what they're telling you. Be one step ahead of the situation. If this isn't enough, remove yourself emotionally from the situation and now see what it does. Your partner's coming in as this high priestess here. Why is the high priestess here for Libra's person of interest? With the page of pentacles i'm gonna be honest i hate the fucking page of pentacles that's like the one page i hate in the deck i don't want for some reason the page of pentacles to me yeah okay it, it's kind of a immature type of energy very passive very receptive this is more of a feminine type of energy it's but it's about beginnings and opening up and really investing or putting time into something However, what, what's being hidden here? They're not showing you what they're putting their, their time and money into. What's being hidden here with this High Priestess? The King of Cups with the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, um, Pisces, Cancer, or even Leo. Taurus is here as well. I feel like this, your person is not being honest about their financial situation. Also too, there's something here with this King of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This, I, I, and I'm gonna be honest, I, I really don't like the Five of Pentacles either. That's Mercury and Taurus. It's like this person is taking a really long time. Let's take money out of it. A couple things, either they're having money problems right now, they're struggling financially, and they don't want you to know it. Okay, that that that's option one. Let's 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 take money out of it though, right? This is somebody that takes a very long time to figure out what the fuck they want. Okay, they're slow to start projects. This is not somebody who takes who who's quick, right? This isn't an Aries type of energy. This is a Taurus type of energy. You can't get a Taurus to do something that they don't want to do. Period. They will stick to their guns. You can't push them around and for them, they will hold on to something, even if it brings them a level of conflict. And I feel like what's going on right now is this person is really in their head about how to actually start something new. How do we progress from here? Nine of swords, right? That's Gemini. That's uh, Mars and Gemini. It's just right now, I feel like they're very scattered and unfork, uh, unforked, Jesus, unfocused. And I feel like they're, this is a very nervous energy on where things are going. And I feel like they know that they're going to have to make a decision quick because they've taken a period of time, but they're not showing how kind of in their head they are. Because they know that you're over it. They, they understand that you're tired of them not giving you what you need emotionally. What are, what, what are they um, upset about with this Nine of Swords? Look, the Four of Cups. Damn. Damn, Gina. There it is. Like I said, they're in their head because they know what's being offered here with this Four of Cups. There's Moon and Cancer isn't enough. It's not enough. Let me tell you why. Because I already have three cups here. What is your one cup going to do? Right? You need to come with more than a cup at the end of the day. Can I get a pentacle? Uh, can I get more than one cup here? And here's the problem. They know that if they're not able to provide something here for you, it's going to be over. Because let's be honest, Libra. Uh... Libras don't wait long for somebody to get their shit together. If they like them, okay, they'll hang around for a period of time. However, that doesn't mean that they're not going to go do them. This person knows that. This person knows that if they don't have a very honest conversation with you, right? Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Mercury in Aquarius. Um, I think that that's Moon in Aquarius. If they don't have this conversation with you, what's going to happen is you're going to do it behind the scenes. You're going to be very quiet about it. 
However, your actions are going to contradict how you really feel about this person. And it's only because they're not fulfilling that emotional need that you have. Because here's the thing, being lonely, like there's something here about loneliness, not fitting in, feeling emotionally blocked here, being distance, be, having a level of being stubborn. It's, it's a level of self-sabotage. It's also breadcrumbing. I feel like your partner knows that, that they've not given enough, and it's because they're withholding it, definitely. Because they very well can give you what you want. The problem is they don't. It's kind of fucked up. Now, for some reason, if you're dealing with a Libra man, or if you're, yeah, if cross watcher, if you're the Libra, if you're dealing with the Libra man, what I've realized is usually it's flipped. So the majority of people who watch these readings tend to be women. No offense, guys. I feel like you guys are kind of coming through, through, like men are starting to catch on now. But for the most part, this is a very feminine type of energy. So um, if you're a man, flip it. If you're a woman that's cross watching, flip it. More than likely, you'll understand. One card here for Libra's person of interest energy. See girl with the snake. Empath, narcissist, um, being charmed or used, enabling boundaries. See, I feel like I'm going to be honest. There is some type of weird energy around a one-sided relationship. It's like one person's constantly doing the work and the other person isn't. This person waits. This person is waiting before they do anything. I also feel like, too, this person, there's something that they have to end in order to be with you. which we can find out more in the extended about them. Um, how you feel about this person is strength. So with the sun, they make you really happy. That's what's kind of shitty about it. Big Leo energy. Empress, okay? This is how you feel about them. Taurus, Libra. Four of Wands, Ace of Swords. However, I feel like you already know how you feel about this person, how you want to move forward with them. Four of Wands, uh, Venus and Aries. You know what you want, right? Aries know what they want. Name one Aries I didn't know what the hell they wanted. I'll wait. And the thing about Aries, because there is a lot of Aries energy here, as well as Aquarius energy. The thing with Aries is... <laughs> They, they take the bull by the horns and they do what they have to do. Like Aries is a go-getter. They're out here doing what they have to do. I think that that's even your sister sign, um, which is kind of interesting. But I feel like this person makes you feel good and you already know that you want to be with this person. The problem is we have the two of pentacles with the king of swords. There's a lot of back and forth right now. There's a lot that's up in the air. And that's Capricorn and Jupiter. It's, it's trying to figure out what to do here. But you're trying to do it in a way that's very organized. And you're trying to do it with a level of integrity. But the problem is you're trying to be too practical. But it's weird because emotions are involved. There's something here where you're going back and forth. And honestly, Libra, you may be dealing with an Aquarius um, or a Leo, um, Gemini, of course, um, or another Libra, but I also feel like this King of Swords may be somebody else that you deal with aside from this person, because how would Libra's person of interest, how would they feel about this King of Swords? The Hermit, they don't like it. They're like, shut that shit down. Virgo, how does, um, this King of Swords feel about... Libra's current person of interest romantically. How do they feel about him? The devil, okay? So, proving a point, there's more than one person here on your side too, which is why you go back and forth, I feel like. What do you want me to tell Libra about this King of Swords? Ooh. 
that you need to end this situation with this King of Swords. That needs to stop. This is what you know. This King of Swords is what you know. That's what I'm getting. One more card here for what you want them to know about this King of Swords. Energy that's not their partner, the moon. Hangman, this is what has you stuck. Pisces, Aquarius. Giving to more than one person. There's something here about either you giving to more than one person, I feel like, is what's blocking things from changing with you and them. Especially since they're coming up as a high priestess. I always say Taurus always knows what the fuck is going on, especially if they have Taurus in their chart or something, or let's just take it for what it is. The high priestess, look, she has a laptop. She already knows what's going on. She's peep social media. She already knows what's going on, when it's going on, which can be the reason why this person isn't willing to invest emotionally in you because there's still this other person off to the side. But I feel like you talk to this person. Like this, this person gives you that mental back and forth that you need. Look, Six of Pentacles, Ace, Page of Swords. It's, it, it's a conversation. It's back and forth. Maybe this is somebody from your past that made you an offer. However, you blocked it or something. But you do have another person that's lingering here for sure. Okay. Current situation, Eight of Wands. Things are at a standstill right now, right? Let's 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 be honest. Uh, Eight of Wands is Mercury in Sag, and there's not a lot of communication right now. Maybe no communication between you and this person. However, it's like there's not a lot of optimism here either. Somebody's very defensive. Somebody doesn't like to be embarrassed. There's something here. Why is this Ace of Wands reversed? Even travel, like no traveling. Look, the Ace of Wands is reversed because of the chariot. Because you can't move. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Maybe I'm not. Okay. Sorry, bless me. Um, I don't know, maybe that's like a good thing. Random ass sneeze in a reading. Um, I feel like things are blocked because there's, there's a limitation on travel, um, even on money or doing the right, like, like there's something here that somebody has to fix before they can move forward. Why is the Eight of Wands here with the Chariot? Eight of Wands reversed here with the Chariot for Libra. And the Hierophant, the Hierophant keeps coming out. It's like somebody has to do the right thing. Somebody has to be completely single here in order for that abundance to come through. And I feel like somebody has to walk away from a situation that they're already currently in. Whether that's you or your partner, it's one of you guys. And it may, I don't know, it's, it's really weird. Like, I just feel very strongly that there's something here that's not being seen that you don't see or you don't know that they see. But I feel like it's on both ends, to be honest. Like, I feel like there's somebody you talk to, even if it's just talking to them. Like, like there's something here to that. Yeah, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. I mean, I feel like this is pretty dead on separation with lightning there's something that happened very quick here i feel like it can't even be communication that goes sideways there's something that you find out or somebody finds out and they feel like they're stabbed in the back but there is some type of separation i feel like that comes in here how would libra feel about this how would libra feel about this Queen of Pentacles, you'd be like, yes, come through. So either you're separating from a partner or this person is separating from a partner. And however you feel about it, well, let me ask, how does, how does um, Libra, okay, it works, okay. Seven of Wands, okay, how does Libra feel about this Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Cancer, how does Libra feel? Lovers, okay. 
This is a commitment. That's what it is. There's something that's going to change this month. I feel like somebody's being let go. A third party, fourth party, fifth party. I don't know. There's some type of situation here that's being let go of. And I feel like it's one from the past. One is something that you've gone back and forth with multiple times. That's what I'm getting. Um, okay, so your outcome is passion. Um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like there is some type of offer here. I do feel like your partner comes and I do think that there is something here that they are bridging together. I think that there is there, that there's an extension here of, hey, you're over there, I'm over here, we'll tell you what, um, in order for this to work, I'm gonna do A, B, C, D, and E. It's now creating the bridge where you and this person can kind of go back and forth with and travel. Now, I feel like this is more so emotionally as well as mentally. There's something here that you may find out about from the past or they find out about that ultimately pushes you guys forward to the next level. And with that being said, Libra, I love you. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Peace.